you know, you have to get a dog to match your lifestyle. And if you're active, you should get a dog that's active. If you're sedentary, if you want to sit at home and watch TV all night, don't get a dog that wants to go for a run every night. Uh, find a dog like a Cavalier who's happy to be at your feet, on your lap, and hanging out with you. I think that's the most important thing about uh, dog ownership is to find a dog to match your lifestyle. We can talk about different breeds that are probably better suited to be city dogs here in New York City, apartment dogs, but it really isn't so much about the breed, it's about the dog and it's about the owner in the city. The great thing about being having a dog in the city is that your dog is attuned to you and you're attuned to your dog because you have to be. You have to take them out on a leash. You can't just open the door and let them run out and play in the yard. You have to be with them all the time. There are lots of great breeds in New York City and some of them surprise you sometimes. Uh, my Brittany. My Brittany really is a dog that's very active and needs and needs to be able to run. And she does get out to run once in a while, uh, enough that she stays calm in the house the rest of the time. My Cavalier would never have to leave the apartment. She'd be happy forever. There are other great dogs that are that are typically no surprises as, as great. Uh, apartment dogs like Pugs and Boston Terriers. I love Bostons. Um, they're wonderful dogs because they, these are dogs that live for their people. You know, a lot of dogs that, that their whole thing is to do what they want to do and they don't really care about their people, they could get along without us if it wasn't to have to, having to go outside or to have their, you know, their cans of dog food opened. They'd be just fine. But um, there are medium-sized dog boxers. Boxers are wonderful, great family dogs. Again, they can be a little active, but with the right home, with the right family, the right people in charge of them, they can be great apartment dogs too. And there are big dogs that are great in the city too because they're a moderate energy dog. Dogs like Great Danes or, or Greyhounds. You see them run crazily around the track, but they're very docile in the city and docile at home. And so it, just because a dog's big doesn't mean it can't survive in the city. So I wouldn't rule out a big dog just because you live in the city. Golden Retrievers and Labradors who are a little bit bigger, 75 to 90 pounds maybe, uh, but are great family dogs. They need some attention. They need to be able to get out and move around a little bit. But generally speaking, you're going to see a lot of small dogs in the city. Cavaliers are everywhere right now because they're wonderful, happy little dogs. You hear the word happy a lot when you talk about dogs in the city because there's a lot going on in the city. <laughs> a lot of noise, a lot of traffic, a lot of kids, a lot of people. And if your dog doesn't like activity, uh, that kind of activity level around them, they're not going to be happy in the city and neither are you.